no. Oh gosh, count a spell, she peed herself. Okay, yeah, this party's been going on for too long. And then we also have Charles, because I do want him to talk to Araminta. <gasps> oh my God. Hey my little rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family. If you guys didn't see my last video then you missed the fact that we now have merch. So now we have a princess Amira Chibi merch and she is so cute and I know that there have already been a few orders and I didn't say this in the last video but I just wanted to say too that if you guys post a picture or message me a picture on either Twitter or Instagram. I can see messages on Twitter easily. I don't get notifications that I get messages on Instagram. So if you guys send me a picture of your merch either wearing it because we have t-shirts and stuff or just of like you holding it or like using it because we have like phone cases and stickers and mugs that you see behind me too so if you guys send or post and tag me in a picture of that on Twitter or Instagram then I will share the picture in my video so I'll give you guys a big shout out as a thank you for purchasing my merch and supporting me in my channel so I just wanted to say that really quickly but like guys she is so cute I don't know if you missed it but like oh my god she She's adorable. I had a few people who wanted to get other characters for merch too, and it will depend on how well Chibi Amira does. So I just wanted to say that too, because I do have to hire the artist again to make Chibi characters of all of our other characters. Oh, and my Instagram and Twitter account are in the description below, so you guys can find me on there if you're not following me already. But anyway, so in this episode, we're going to be doing several things. One very exciting thing we're going to be doing is aging up Princess Alice May into a toddler, so we will get to see what she looks like, which. I am so, so excited to see what she looks like. And then we're also going to have Princess Amira age up into an adult. So she's a young adult right now. So it's gonna be her birthday, she's gonna age up. And then we're also gonna age up Prince William, so that is, or Lord William, it's Prince William technically, but that is a Prince Kellen and a Princess Meghan's son. And then I think we're also going to age up Princess Aisha of Oasis Springs, but we're gonna do this in like one birthday party. So it'll be all in one sitting. We're gonna be having four birthdays in one sitting. So it'll be a lot of fun. And then right now we have King Henry of Windenburg and Princess Amira. They are at the Glimmerbrook Royal Palace because in the last episode, Charles and Araminta have had a problem arise in their relationship and they've had to break up because Araminta's father is forcing her to marry this prince from another kingdom that's not actually going to be a physical kingdom in my series. It's going to be like there are other kingdoms but they're not like actually in the series mostly just because I'm out of worlds to use and I know there's like Newcrest and I don't know what's the other one Granite Falls and stuff but I already have used Granite Falls in my other episodes and Newcrest I use for like the public lots and I don't think it would make a very good Asian kingdom either. I'm very picky. I apologize. And also because I don't think like the kingdom that the person Araminta is supposed to marry is from, I don't think that the kingdom itself would be a huge like thing in our storyline. I think it's just the prince itself that's going to be marrying Araminta. That's going to be the main, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's going to just be him that's in our story. Like maybe some of his family members, but not like the whole kingdom. I don't, does that make sense? Sorry guys, I'm like so, so out of it. I've had a very busy weekend, which is why I haven't posted a video for a while. And then I know I've just been posting royal family episodes. I haven't posted a dynasty episode in like over a month and I haven't been doing other videos too. It's just because the royal family episodes, like I've already have these plots written down or their plots just like come very easily to me so they're a lot easier to film especially when I don't have those like big cinematic intros at which by the way I think I'm just gonna keep for intros I'm not gonna post them separately just because I think it'd be a little too confusing to have just multiple videos and since I had such a busy weekend I just wanted to film a royal family episode and get that out otherwise I probably wouldn't have gotten a video out to you guys until like this weekend or something so that is why but I am starting to post my posting schedule not only on Twitter, but also on my story on YouTube. So if you just go onto YouTube, you should be able to see my story, my YouTube story. It lasts for like a week. So you can see my weekly schedule on there. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry, back to the episode. So again, in the last episode, Charles and Araminta, they had to break up because Araminta's father is forcing her to marry the youngest son of the emperor in this other kingdom. Because some people were asking if 
the son or the person she was marrying was supposed to be the heir because then like the two kingdoms would unite but no so it's the youngest son and I didn't make that clear in the last episode so I apologize so then Araminta's father forced her to break up with Charles and then they were really sad in the last episode now King Henry and Amira they have offered to talk to Emperor Zhao for Charles so now we are going to have them knock on the door of the Glimmerbrook palace I really love this palace like just the outside of it is so cool okay so King Henry and Amira are now talking to Emperor Zhao. I guess offer gratitude to Emperor Zhao. We gotta be super polite because King Henry is about to ask a big favor. Oh, oh wait, Emperor Zhao and King Henry do not have the best relationship. Oh, okay, now it's better. Oh, I didn't realize that. I also remember because Charles and Araminta, I remember Emperor Zhao, he tried to talk to King Henry about that, about like arranging a marriage between Araminta and Charles, but King Henry said no, because he didn't want to like force his child into a marriage or like have it be an arranged marriage in case anything happened with Charles and Araminta. But I guess now maybe he should have. Uh, okay, this somehow is not going well so Emperor Zhao and King Henry are very frustrated with each other all of a sudden and also Emperor Zhao is feeling flirty which I don't know why okay oh god oh my gosh this is going way worse than I thought it would where did Amira go maybe she went to go check on Araminta I kind of feel like with Emperor Zhao that maybe he felt embarrassed that King Henry didn't agree to do the arranged marriage with Charles oh gosh okay uh well with Charles and Araminta so maybe he, that's why he doesn't like King Henry very much I feel like Emperor Zhao, he just tries to avoid confrontation is what it seems like. And then it seems like, I feel like he doesn't want to get into a war with anyone either. Okay, Amira's leaving. Oh wait, where did King Henry go? Oh no, you're sitting in his throne, King Henry. Oh no, this is like the worst thing you could do. Get out. Okay, I'm gonna have him leave before things get like too bad. You know what though? I think Araminta and Charles, they, maybe Araminta's thinking about just telling Charles they should still see each other. I feel like they're taking, oh no, no. Now King Henry's very angry. Now he's enraged. Oh no, don't get too enraged, please. I do not need you dying of anger. Okay, I'm go Okay, he's home now. I'm going to have Queen Evangeline try to calm him down because we do not need him dying of anger. That would be like the worst thing right now. I am now going to go to Princess Amira and Jabari's house so we can go ahead and age up Alice May. But what I was saying is I do feel like Araminta is going to tell Charles like she's going to say that she wants to still see him because they've been like together for so long, you guys. And they were both so sad in the last episode and I felt so bad. But yeah, I honestly feel like Ember Jow kind of sucks as a person, which is why he's like doing this to his daughter and also why he refuses to attack this kingdom that it wants to attack them just for his daughter's sake. It's not the best emperor in the world. I think Aramint is definitely going to be a better one. But okay, so now we have a princess Alice May. We're gonna age her up into a toddler and we're gonna see what she looks like in the episode when we had her. So I think two episodes ago, I asked you guys if they should have one or two children. So, oh my God, it was like 50-50, I was surprised. A lot of people were saying that she should have more than one because that so much has happened to their family and you don't know who's going to die. So like in case Alice May dies, which hopefully she does not, they would have another child to like keep their lineage going. Okay, Alice May aged up. So I'm gonna do random and see what we get. We got independent. Oh, okay. She loves her freedom. That's so cute. Okay, guys, so this is Princess Alice May. Oh my gosh. Look how cute she is, you guys. She has Amira's eyes and she's Jabari's hair. And I think her skin is like a mix between them both or it might, it might be more similar to Amira's. But oh my God, you guys, she's so cute. Oh, but what I was saying before is that, so a lot of people were saying that Amira and Jabari, it would be smart to have two children. But then others were saying that Amira and Jabari might want to spend time with just the, like the one child. So maybe we will have them have another baby, but probably wait until she is like early to mid child. So like there would be a big age gap between the two kids, but it's also gonna have to be before Jabari and Amira turn into elders, which I'm sure it will be. Oh God, she's already making a mess. She just aged up. She's already making a mess. No, stop. Actually, I think I am going to change her outfit just a little bit. So we'll just change her outfit for a second and then I'll show it to you guys. Look how cute she is. Look how cute she is. She's so adorable. Oh my God, I can't take this. This is the everyday outfit I picked for her. I, I know it's like so frilly. This is exactly how I would dress my child. And then her formal outfit. I think this is what Princess Bellatrix was wearing for a formal outfit when she was a toddler. But you guys, she's so cute. I can't take it. She's gonna be so pretty. 
it's a teenager. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see her grow up. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna leave them here. Oh my gosh, I'm so, she's so cute. She's adorable. Okay, so for the sake of just convenience, I am going to have Amira and Jabari move in with the, uh, I guess, yeah, the Windenburg royal family, back with her family. But we're gonna have the birthday party for Amira and then for Prince William or Lord William, and then also for Aisha. And then I want Charles to talk to Araminta at the birthday party. So it's just easier to have them all in the same household. All right, so we are now starting this birthday party. Clearly Ember Zhao is not invited. I think Araminta has to like sneak over here. I might have to have Charles talk to her separately because I don't think she would come to the birthday party, like especially in public where people would see and then that would get back to her father. I think she would try to come separately and talk to Charles in private. So I do wanna show you guys because Lord Gabriel, who if you remember a few episodes ago, we had Arya and Gabriel meet because this is who, oh, he's walking away, but this is who her parents, who Arya's parents wanted her to possibly marry and he aged up into a teenager and you guys look how cute he is. He's so cute. Now he does have the mean trait. So people were a little bit iffy about Arya and Gabrielle because he does have the mean trait. I kind of think like he might be a bit of a troublemaker and then maybe Queen Nea and Prince Philip have heard about it and they are kind of like second guessing if they want Arya and Gabrielle to be together. And then maybe Gabrielle has to like apologize to Queen Nea and to Philip. So that could be a thing because he's so cute. And I really, really, can you imagine how good looking their kids would be, you guys? Oh my God, they'd be so good looking. So I just wanted to show you him. So we will revisit Arya and Gabrielle in another episode. I think Arya is here too, cause I, if you follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture of Arya and of Kimberly's new look. So I don't know where she is, but if we see her, I will show you guys her new look. If we don't see her, then I will show you guys in another episode. But now I am going to start aging up some of the people. So we have three different people that we can age up. So why don't we go ahead and first age up. I want to age up Lord William first so we can help him blow out the candles. Okay, so Mira is now aging up Prince William. And then we are also going to, I think I'm going to have her age up last because I like don't want her to turn into an adult because it means she's getting older. Okay, but William, he looks so cute, you guys. Look at him. I'm going to play around with his outfits and hair. And I'll show that to you guys. And then next we're going to, oh no, <gasps> no, you took the cake, Lord Gabriel. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna make another cake. Oh no, you guys, Charles is drunk. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you know what? I think he must have just been like so upset about Araminta. I know it doesn't have any of the sad moodlets now, but he did before. He had a bunch of them before. So I think he is feeling confident because he's drunk. And now, yeah, it says he's drunk. So that's not good. So now he's drinking. He's definitely in her age, but um, he might just be getting into a little bit of trouble because of the whole thing that happened with Araminta. Okay, I now have the other birthday cake ready. So now we are going to age up Princess Aisha of Oasis Springs. I'm excited to see what she's gonna look like too because Arya looks like Nea and then Kimberly looks like Philip. So I'm looking forward to see who Manuel and who Aisha is going to look like. Okay, so Aisha is now blowing out the candles and she's gonna turn into a teenager and I'm so excited to see what she's gonna look like, you guys. Okay, so she, oh gosh, okay, all right. Okay, so she's now a teenager. So I'm gonna see what she looks like in a bit. I have to make sure that we put candles on this cake before somebody else eats it. Okay. So so now it is Princess Amira's turn to age up into an adult. I am really not looking forward to this. I just feel like, I don't know guys, she's aging up and it makes me so sad. Oh, and then we have Makai here. Makai, he's turned into an adult too. He's no longer a young adult. Oh gosh, okay, we need to end this birthday party soon because, oh no, oh gosh, Countess Belle, she peed herself. Okay, yeah, this party's been going on for too long. So Amira, she's now blowing out the candles and she's gonna turn into an adult, you guys. That makes me so sad. All right. Amira has aged up into an adult adult, a middle-aged adult. I don't know. I feel like it's like late 30s kind of. She's getting old. 
older. Oh my gosh, when Amira dies, I think I'm just going to just be like, oh my God, it's gonna be so much worse than King Henry. We did see in the last episode that Bellatrix and Samaria were a thing. And it looks like Samaria, is this Samaria? <gasps> yes. Okay, Bellatrix and Samaria are here, but also is Prince Jabari. And oh, I don't know how I feel about this outfit. I didn't change all of her outfits. I only changed some of them. So I need to change her back into her other outfit. So I do want to revisit that. And then we also have Charles because I do want him to talk to Araminta. <gasps> oh my God. Wait, what the? Oh my God, is Charles hooking up with somebody else? No. Oh no. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, Jabari and Kellen just saw all of that. Oh my God. No, you guys, that's Princess Kimberly of Oasis Springs. <laughs> when did they? Hold on, when did they get a relationship? Oh my God, what is happening right now? Is this because Charles is drunk? Now he's sober, but he was definitely drunk. No, no, okay, he's still a little bit drunk. Oh my God, you guys. Um, okay, I don't know what to do. I was not planning on this to happen. I wanted Araminta and Charles to talk and then get back together. <laughs> I 100% think that Charles is rebounding with Princess Kimberly, which is not good. I do not support this kind of behavior. Oh my God, Charles. Oh, I'm so upset right now. Oh my god. Mm, well, I was going to have like Bellatrix and Samaria talk and I was going to have Charles and Araminta talk, but I might have to wait until the next episode. I'm assuming he was just like so sad about Araminta and then it didn't work out when his father and sister tried to talk to Araminta's father and he was so upset and then he was drunk and then he was just rebounding. Oh, Princess Kimberly, no. I don't know if Kimberly knows that or I mean, she knows that Charles and Araminta have been together for a while. Oh my god. Oh, is Araminta and Kimberly going to be mad at each other now? I just ended this birthday party because people need to go home. I'm going to play around with Aisha and with William's outfits by the next episode so you guys can see them. If you follow me on Instagram, I will post pictures of their new looks on Instagram. And then I have to figure out this whole thing. Bellatrix and Charles. Charles, you need to talk to your sister because I, oh my God. All right, Charles has to tell his sister that he just messed around with Kimberly. I feel like he would like, only tell but then no his brother-in-law just saw him making out with Kimberly so that's a thing so I think Jabari is going to be telling Amira and I think Amira is going to yell at Charles and then we'll have to revisit Bellatrix and Samaria in the next episode there was just too much going on in this episode I think but I'm gonna end this episode here I'll be sure to come out with my dynasty series and my other videos of course the history of Windenburg video that I'm working on too it's oh god so so close to being done with like the recording of things and then I just need to add words I might actually narrate because it's just a narration and no one, like none of the Sims are talking. So I might do that so you guys don't have to read any of it. But let me know your thoughts on Charles and Araminta and Kimberly. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.